Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for braving this awful weather to join us tonight for our season-ending awards banquet dinner. The amount of people who are here tonight reflects the outstanding support that we've received all season long from all of you. It's never easy to end the season earlier than anticipated, but honestly, there's no reason that any of us should be holding our heads low. From day one, this team was underestimated and basically told that we had no chance of making it far. And we believe it honestly shocked many that we finished in third place and took one of the best teams in the nation to a seventh game in the semifinals of the playoffs. <laughs> but to be completely honest, with all those that it shocked, I don't think it really shocked any of us. Before the regular season even started, there was an energy, a buzz, and almost an instant bond between all the players before we even played one game. We knew that this was going to be an incredible season. Sure, we battled endless injuries and adversity, but we still seemed to be able to overcome all of that. Both on and off the ice, when someone was not able to contribute, someone else picked up the slack and was able to make the best of situations. Although we may be leaving the season with some disappointment, it is important to remember the valuable lessons we all learned, the adversities we faced and overcame, and most importantly, the friendships that we've made with each other that will last a lifetime. Sorry, deep breath. Before we move on to the awards portion of tonight's banquet, there are some people who we'd like to recognize. First and foremost, our fans. The support, not only in the regular season, but in the playoffs was beyond incredible. I think I can speak for the entire team in saying the support and dedication you showed us this season truly was appreciated, and we use that to continue to push and give it our all every single night. So thank you very much to the fans. <laughs> to our sponsors, no team can survive without your support. and within the community and the businesses. The constant support you gave us every season is a blessing and we can't thank you enough. <laughs> to our staff, this organization's staff is truly the best of the best. These people work tirelessly to make sure that the boys in the community are supported and have what they need to make the season successful and enjoyable. We have never worked with people who are so professional selfless and dedicated ever. Long hours, <coughs> late nights, early mornings, hard times, good times, these people just never seem to stop. You all deserve a major pat on the back for the season because it was a heck of a ride. Thank you to Jesse Winchester, Devin Payne, Dan Armstrong, Dave Graham, Cheryl Rodriguez, Bob Darling, Brooks Taylor, Jesse Valkenier, Mitch Ty, Noah Larley, and Whit Prophet. To the players' parents, you all trusted us with your kids and allowed them to be a piece of our community and family. The support you provided not only for your own child, but all the other guys, whether it be in person at the game or showing support while watching it on Fast Hockey, was phenomenal. Thank you for allowing these amazing young men to be part of our organization and part of the Braves family for life. To our Billet families, there really isn't words for me to say that explains how truly lucky we are to have such supportive and amazing Billet families. The sacrifices you all make to bring these men into your home cannot be overlooked. You not only ensure these boys get fed and have a safe place to sleep, but most importantly, you allow them to become a part of your family. It is something that's hard to find and we have the best of the best. Thank you for making this experience even better for these guys by giving them a place they can comfortably call a home away from home. These bonds made that will be shared for a lifetime are priceless and precious. Thank you to Michelle and Sean Carroll, Jason, Diana, Gavin, Bella, and Haley McDonald, Kelly McDougall, Sonia, Trent, Barron, and Brett Gleason, Kathy and Randy McDonald, Connie, Frank, and Brock D, Steve, Kathy, and Angie McDonald, Nancy, Eric, Stephanie, and Nick Ripley, Sheena, Sean, Riley, and Zach Hagerman, Kathy and Henry Seneker, Debbie and Rick McDonald, Kathy Spratt and Will Maitland. 
Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all that you do. Okay, starting to get a bit harder. So, the volunteers. What can I really say? We're so lucky to get to work alongside some of the world's most dedicated and amazing volunteers around. Not only do you dedicate your time, but you also dedicate your heart to this team and community, and it is something that is so rare and special. I don't believe I'm wrong and or out of line in saying this, but I truly believe that we have the league's best volunteers. Without your support and care every single game, none of this would be possible. Thank you to Jim and Georgina, Rod and Sharon, Sheena, Nancy and Eric, Brenda, Diane, Clint, Chris and Shane, Kirk, Mark and Amber, Baba, Chantal, Dave, Kreger, Witt, Neil, Phil, Dolly, Brian, John, Jonathan Brody, Phil Cal, and also a big thanks for the uh, pictures that you provided us through the playoffs. They've been awesome. Um, Dick, Ed Bell, Tim, Diana, Kathy, and Cameron. Also, I just want to shout out a special thank you to Al McKenzie, who made all the plaques for tonight's awards. Um, he also takes time to, to um, sorry, to recognize players throughout the year with plaques demonstrating their individual accomplishments. Another special thanks to my right-hand man, Sean Burns, who put together tonight's slideshows, and always endlessly is there for me when I need help with anything from media to posters, to recordings at St. Lawrence College, to providing us with great music every game. So thank you to all of our volunteers, you're the best. <laughs> all right, the players. This one is gonna be hard for all of us, I think. You know, I feel like we say it at the end of almost every year that this group's been one of the best. I can honestly say, in my 17 seasons, we have never had a group of guys like you. The heart and passion on this year's team was absolutely undeniable on and off the ice. The dedication you showed to our community was absolutely phenomenal. The enthusiasm that you showed for each other was beyond special. We are truly going to remember this year's team for years and years to come. Thank you for putting up with me and all my crazy demands and antics. Thank you for helping me at every turn. And thank you for giving me and the rest of the organization one of the best seasons anyone could ever ask for. We truly wish each and every one of you only the best for your future, because you all without hesitation deserve it. I'm now gonna ask our two owners just to come up and say a brief little something, and then we'll get right on with the awards portion. Hi everyone. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. How was dinner? Okay? Delicious. Thanks. That's all uh, Hanny's doing, so. It was, uh, you know, one of the best seasons that I can remember, whether I was a player or a coach or an owner or manager. Um, we had a very special group supported by a lot of special people off the ice. Um, Jamie went through the names, but again, I'd like to thank the volunteers, the billets, the staff, the sponsors, the parents, the players for an unbelievable season. Um, normally, I don't get emotional, but uh, with everything that happened in Humboldt, um, I think it's important that you guys know that, you know, the way you persevered um, through that and showing the heart that you guys did was uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Um, we had a special group of kids, but we also are led by a pretty special coach. Um, Jesse, uh, thank you so much for putting in the time and the effort this season. Um, the way that we envisioned the Braves um, is exactly what you brought to the table this year. So thank you very much. Dev. Dev is probably the only person that has survived three years with me, so congratulations, Dev. Um, we're really hoping that somehow you're allowed to come back and coach next season on any basis that you would like. Um, it was just great. Um, 
We have a lot to look forward to as an organization. We took a huge step forward this year, but I really feel that with the guys coming back and the, the recruiting that we're doing, uh, the best is still yet to come. Thank you so much. And I can't forget, I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't thank St. Jamie, who literally, for those of you that have been here for a couple of years, um, is the heart and soul of everything that we do here. So thank you, Jamie. Give me a hug. There was just one last person on my list who, uh, who really stepped up to the plate this year and is really the unsung hero of, of everything that we did off the ice, and that's Jesse Valkner this year. Jesse? Um, you're a good man, and, and you really helped us out in a time of need this year, and we're, we're forever in your debt, so whatever you need from us, just let us know, bud. Appreciate it. Thanks. I'd like to welcome Al McKenzie up. He's the one that created all of our plaques for us, dedicates tons of time, and we are very appreciative of the work that he puts in. I'm just gonna have him come up right now because he's got a quick little presentation he wants to do. Well, I've been so involved in hockey for so many years, and this is the end. I've had a stroke, but a lot of stuff has come back, but not everything. I, I, guys I've known for years, it takes a while sometimes just to remember their names. However, tonight I want to present a special trophy to our captain. Where is he? It's been a long time, many years here, and I think this is one of the finest captains we've had in a number of years. And I have a special trophy here that I want to present to him. And I want to read it out to you. In a 12-team league, Andrew had an over outstanding career. Standing at five foot seven, 180 pounds, <laughs> and, and played like he was six foot and 210 pounds. He backed down from no one and was named captain in his last two years. He was a great captain and led by example. We wish him success in his future endeavors as he goes to Carleton University on a scholarship to further his education and play for the Carleton University Ravens. been a great year, believe me. I only wish I could have been here more than just the first part of the year. Okay, we ask that Jesse Valkanier and Bob Darling come to the front for this specific award. So they are going to pre be presenting the Trainer's Helper Award. This award is presented by the equipment and training staff to the player who goes above and beyond the daily expectations of a player. So the person that we chose for this award, no matter whether they were playing or whether they were scratched, always came in every game with a smile on his face, always willing to help, no questions asked, didn't matter what it was. Um, had a great sense of humor, look forward every day to seeing this person. I'll let Bob say a few words here. Uh, we had a great bunch of boys this year. An old man like me, uh, you know, I can't do an awful lot around the room, so we need the helper. 
And every time I turned around, he was always wanting to know if there was something he could do for me. Um, in one month, I'm going to be 80 years old, so I was really appreciative of your help. Um, did you get a word for him? <laughs> yeah. The person that this award is going to is Chris Cote. Um, Chris would uh, be in the room and I'd be trying to find something and he knew where everything was in the room all the time better than I did. I, I forget tomorrow. Okay. All right, our next award of the evening goes to the most improved player. This award is presented to the player who throughout the course of the season has shown growth and improvement in their game and has successfully elevated their skill with each passing game. Uh, this is a great award. Um, and I think there are tons of guys on our team who are deserving of this one. Um, from the start of the year to the end, um, the progression of our team as a whole um, off the charts. But since it has to be given to one guy in particular, uh, we'll single out a guy who came to us uh, a little later, wasn't here for training camp with us, um, but emerged the key uh, contributor on our um, back end. Um, unheralded guy, little known about him coming in, um, but his character, his leadership, his skill level, and his ability to read the play are second to none as far as uh, Dev and I are concerned. And um, it's our pleasure to uh, present Simon Kerr. Uh, with the most improved player award. So our next award is the most sportsmanlike player. This award is presented to the player who exemplifies an aspiration that this sport will be enjoyed for its own sake with proper consideration for fairness, ethics, respect, and a sense of fellowship for his competitors. Again, so many deserving uh, players on our team. That's a credit to the character in our room. But uh, this guy, he's... Uh, a one and done guy with us. He uh, came here um, and with a lot of expectations and obviously delivered. He, uh, he's been a leader since day one, um, scored some highlight real goals for us, was huge for us in the playoffs, but just conducts himself the way an assistant captain should. Um, and this award goes to uh, Eric Holland. The next award is a new one this year. <clears throat> it's the Bob Darling Commitment and Volunteer Award. This award is being presented for the first time tonight by Bob Darling. This award is given to the player who shows a selfless dedication and passion for the community through volunteering. This person has been involved in community events from day one and is always willing to go the extra mile to ensure the community is receiving support when needed. From volunteering in schools, to being an ambassador at the Aquatarium, to helping serve meals for those in need at the local Pierre Church, this person has exemplified the qualities that Bob Darling Commitment and Volunteer Award stands for. The first ever recipient of the Bob Darling Award being presented tonight by Bob goes to Nick Hawkins.
This is my 50th year with the team, and I appreciate help every year, but this year I got a lot of help. I'm uh, getting a little too old for this job. But anyway, this award was well deserved by you guys. Thank you. Uh, you offered, he offered to come and get the wash out of the laundry for me or anything to clean the room. Anything I asked him to do, he always smiled about it and did it. Thanks very much. The next is the Don Wallace Memorial Award. Don Wallace was a member of the Braves family until his sudden passing in 2006 at the age of 59. Don was always working around the rink to ensure the boys as well as the fans were always getting the best experiences day in and out. He often organized fan buses to road games and endless odd jobs around the rink, always with a smile. The Don Wallace Memorial Award is presented to the Braves player who best exemplifies the qualities admired by Don, hard work, commitment, and dedication. Uh, recurring theme here, but um, I like to think that's how our entire team played this season. Um, so thankful for our group. But since it has to be uh, one guy who gets this, I'll speak a bit about uh, what he brings to the table every game. And um, again, unheralded guy coming in, um, but has, has evolved into a true leader. He's a winner. Um, you need a face off one, he takes care of it. You need a shot blocked, he takes care of it. You need the boys to skate a couple mountains after practice, he's leading the way there. Um, he's out early, uh, stays on the ice late. Um, a true joy to coach, he's just a horse, um, and plays the game the right way. So uh, invite up uh, Freddie for this award. Congrats, big fella. The next is the CCHL Three Star Award. Upon the conclusion of every regular season game in the CCHL, the three stars are given to the players who had an outstanding effort in the game played. This award is handed out annually to the Braves player achieving the highest number of points in the three star selections made at the conclusion of every game. And this goes to Eric Holland. The next award is a very special award. Uh, we would like to invite uh, Lynn and Jerry Dayu to the front for this next award, the Dogger Award. Mike Dayu, Dogger, played his minor hockey in Brockville and then with the St. Lawrence Kings organization. Dayu played for the Braves from 1992 to 1996, proudly wearing jersey number 77. The banner number 77 is below the score clock here at the Memorial Center in honor of Mike. He went on to Plattsburgh State to play for the Cardinals. Upon graduating, he returned to Brockville and began teaching at St. Mary's Catholic High School. Dayu assisted the Braves coaching staff in several capacities during the 2009-2010 season while battling cancer. He taught outside the classroom, yet the lessons were as valuable for the moment in time. He taught the team to believe, and this was the motto that carried the 2009-10 Brockville Braves to the Fred Page Cup Championship and the RBC Cup in Dauphin, Manitoba. Dogger lost his battle with cancer in July of 2010. His widow, Kristen, established the Dogger Award for the Braves graduating player who best exemplifies a passion for the game and has a supremely positive attitude. Both traits that Mike carried during his playing days and during his battle with cancer. The recipients for tonight's award are Andrew Jarvis and Tyson Kirkby.
Next is the Rookie of the Year. Each season, new players step onto the ice with the weight of the world on their shoulders to prove they can compete with players who have been playing in this league for years. This award is given to the rookie who both showed how capable he was to play at this level, but also consistently improved throughout the season to become a deserving and successful player at the Junior A level. This guy uh, is very young, um, came a little bit uh, inexperienced, but uh, from day one, we saw glimpses of how talented um, he is. Uh, his game evolved um, in the first half of the season, a little bit slowly, but slowly nonetheless, or evolved nonetheless. Um, and after Christmas, we just saw a progression which was just out of this world good. Um, his season, unfortunately, was cut short by a serious injury uh, to his shoulder, but um, the evidence was there just to show how talented he is. He has a bright future in the game. Um, he's got a college commitment to his name already. He uh, comes to work every day, or to the game, rink every day, ready to work. He's got a positive attitude, never says boo, um, walks under the radar, and this year's recipient of the uh, Rookie of the Year is Simon Mack. Uh, the next award is the Best Defenseman of the Year. This award is given to the defenseman who demonstrates throughout the season the greatest all-around ability and success at his position. Um, again, quite a few uh, solid performers this year, but um, goes to a guy who came into the year not having scored a goal last year. Um, pots 18 before Christmas or something. Uh, but what's most impressive about how he plays the game is just how competitive he is. The example he sets for his teammates each and every time he goes into battle. Um, you know, plays 30, 35 minutes a night. Doesn't matter how he's feeling. Um, gets up, gives his best effort for the fellas in the room, and uh, just was a leader in all ways. So, uh, you know, Johnny, come on up, get this award. It's uh, been a pleasure playing. The next one is for the regular season MVP. This award is given to the player who played an integral role in the team's success throughout the regular season. This award is presented to the player who contributed the most to the team during the season, considering attitude, dedication, skill, leadership, and performance. Yeah, that's a pretty solid uh, explanation of the award. Johnny, um, come on back up here, I think. Uh, <laughs> you know, just an added congratulations for your uh, commitment to play at Niagara next year. Um, you did it all every day for us. And again, there were so many guys who did, but uh, you were a solid, solid player and a true pleasure to coach. So I appreciate uh, all you've done for us this year. Next is the playoff MVP. This award is given to the player who exemplified exceptional skill, performance, dedication, and attitude during the playoff season. Um, this guy is a great choice. Um, you know, he, he and I may have not gotten off on the right foot together, um, seeing as he was moved uh, in November. <laughs> But uh, upon his um, return in January, uh, he's been nothing but a joy to coach. He's been dominant in every aspect of the game and um, in the playoffs just elevated his play to um, and set the example to help us move on. I don't think we move on from the first series without his willingness to do every little task 
uh, the face-offs again, the, the PK, shutting down their best players and then contributing offensively. Um, he's learned about, a lot about what it takes to be a good player day in, day out. Um, we'll rely on him a lot next year. And uh, it's my pleasure to uh, give this award to uh, Eric Faith. The CCHL always awards players from the league each year who exemplify excellence in academics as well on ice performance. This year, we nominated a player who is beyond deserving of this award. He shows dedication and tireless hard work on a daily basis. Congratulations for making the CCHL second all-star academic team, Nick Hawkins. So this one kind of hits home with me pretty strong. So um, it's kind of an emotional award a little bit. Uh, a team cannot survive successfully without the dedication and help of their volunteers. This year's winner is truly one of the hardest working individuals I know. This person puts in endless hours and is constantly offering help whenever, wherever, or however he can. Without this person constantly supporting me, whether it be setting up for events, doing laundry, making posters, helping with the million odd jobs that need to be accomplished around the rink every day, or even just being there to chat, share ideas with me, he truly goes above and beyond. Many long, long nights, early mornings, laughing, joking, debates, heated discussions, tears, smiles, we have been through it all. I am so glad to have such a selfless, dedicated person to work beside me all season and even in the off season. We can't think of a more deserving winner for the Volunteer of the Year Award than Jesse Valkenier. So we also have a special presentation that we'd like to make. So at this time, we'd ask that Jarvis, Johnny, and Eric please come up. Yeah, thanks for everybody coming out. Um, volunteers, coaching staff, parents, billets. Um, it's been an unforgettable season for all of us, and uh, we can't thank you guys enough. And tonight, um, we'd like to present Jamie with a nice card and a gift card from all the players. Um, you do so much for us, and it's unbelievable how much you go through. And we appreciate it and got you a little something here so if you want to come accept this am i getting a picture oh god Last but uh, last but certainly not, not least, um, I alluded to it earlier. Um, this last award is a league award, a very deserving award to a person who's really righted the ship here in Brockville. Without further ado, the CCHL Coach of the Year, Jesse Winchester. <laughs> I 
Halle, <laughs> get that deep. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll take the mic for a quick sec here, but uh, a lot of people to thank, but um, you know, Debbie, uh, not knowing what I was getting into here, um, you, uh, you're fearless, um, just the greatest uh, sidekick or partner or whatever you want to call it, but uh, we, uh, we meshed seamlessly. Um, rely on you to do so many things behind the scenes that I have no idea how to do and still don't. So um, really, really hope you consider coming back uh, next year. Debbie's having a baby in a month and he's got bigger things on the horizon, but um, he's, been, he's been just the perfect fit um, alongside me, just balancing my ego and all the other stuff that comes with it he's just the man and then um to the players on our team uh made coming to the rink um enjoyable every single day spoke to you guys after the last game but um i've had i've been pretty fortunate to have some pretty great experiences in hockey um and truthfully the grind that we went through the last two months and pushing OJS to seven. That ranks up there with the absolute best of them. You guys put it on the line every single day. You, found, you learned a lot about what it takes to be a competitor. You relied on each other. All things that'll uh, help you succeed down the line for the guys moving on. And for the guys coming back, you, you understand what we expect coming in next year and you'll, you'll help the new guys along and that's just what the game is about, so. Um, Thank you to you guys for bearing with my snap shows and my all those things and the the hard work that I that I expected out of you every day. But um, really, just so enjoyable. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But you guys are great kids. And uh, again, super special year for from both myself, Dev, and I hope for you guys too. So thank you. Before we wrap up today, I just want to give a couple little shout outs. So I'd like to thank Wit and Phil for providing the camera work for tonight. It was last minute and I really appreciate you guys doing this. It's awesome. Uh, thanks, Sean, for the slideshows. They're awesome. Um, the photos on the slideshow, thank Phil Cal, Jonathan Brody, um, Jim Hill and Sean himself, they provided those photos. So thank you for some awesome pictures that'll keep those in our memories forever. And before we close up, we just want to ask the graduating players to come up and just give a little quick speech. <laughs> I know, on the spot. <laughs> Um, all right, um, for, those that, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Mike Locktelli. Uh, I got traded here uh, in early January, um, and I came from a fairly bad situation to a pretty awesome situation. Uh, and I'm definitely grateful for uh, our coaches uh, and all the guys that are on this team that made this the best way to go out possible. I mean, it sucks we didn't win, but we gave it everything we got, and I'm so thankful to my billets. Um, the guys I live with, I love you boys, and, and the rest of you guys in the Braves. Thank you for making, or thank you for making my 20-year-old my season the best it could have possibly been. Um, I got traded here 20 games into the season, and uh, it was my last year of juniors. I've had a kind of rough junior career playing on a lot of teams. Um, wouldn't have picked a uh, better band of brothers to finish my career with and a better group of coaches and uh, volunteers. I uh, truly made my last year a very memorable, memorable experience and one I will never forget. Uh, thanks to all the guys again. Uh, 
Uh, I'd just like to thank uh, the coaching staff, uh, parents, fans, uh, volunteers, um, the players, making my last year an unforgettable one, uh, welcoming me with open arms mid-season, and uh, just making this last year, last ride with the guys, unforgettable. Yeah, so like following up on these guys, this has been uh, the best year of my life uh, in terms of hockey. And uh, you know, I'm so thankful for the memories I've made, all the friendships I've made. And um, you know what, this was, uh, like I said, just the best time of my life and I couldn't be happier. I mean, there's not much else to say. The boys pretty much covered it all. Um, from, from my billets out to the coaching staff ownership and obviously the boys. <coughs> um, couldn't ask for a better season, like many of them. Um, it's up there, right up there, if not the best hockey season I've ever had in my life. And it's a credit to the character of all the guys on the team and, and our fans coming out every night in the playoffs and supporting us and just the kind of buzz around that. And um, it made it really special. So thanks to everyone and it's been, it's been awesome. So, yeah, uh, good one, Jordy. Um, it was a really good time, uh, second year in, uh, in Brockville, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, the fans, teammates, coaches, Bill, it's made it really special. Um, and uh, without the help of my teammates, I wouldn't be able to kind of pursue my goals or, uh, or anything like that. So I owe a lot to you guys, and uh, I think the season goes down uh, for me personally, probably the best season. Um, around so uh, yeah a lot of thanks for the support from the fans and everything like that it's uh, just really thankful yeah, well, I'm not much of a speaker apparently I screwed up last time in the words so sorry about that but a little bit nervous um, um, this is pretty tough for me to end um, to start off, uh, my parents, my billets, Sean and Michelle, um, you guys are the absolute backbone of my career and I can't thank you guys enough. Obviously my brothers too who can't be here tonight. Um, you guys have no idea how much that has meant to me. Um, we've battled through a lot, Sean and Michelle, what you guys went through last year and continued to um, show the heart that you guys truly have to continue to honestly just be nice and so respectful through what you guys went through. It, it just shows so much about your character and I really appreciate it. And I wouldn't trade any of these days for um, anything else. I really appreciate that. Uh, fans, volunteers, uh, Jamie had a beautiful speech, obviously. Um, she covered everything, but just to reiterate it, obviously, you guys are truly the best. Um, Coming to the rink every day uh, it just puts a smile on my face. I, I walk in the room, obviously Jamie's getting set up. Valkanir and Bobby, I come in and see Bobby's big smile and you just can't help not to laugh and smile and enjoy it and I'm honestly gonna miss it. Um, and yeah, teammates, uh, Jordy said it, Vlao said it, we're a band of brothers and you guys are the closest that I've ever been with anybody. Um, we're definitely going to stick together and cheers to new beginnings, boys. All right, well, that concludes our season ending horse banquet. And I just want to thank everybody that came out tonight for the whole season, everything you guys did. Truly. A blessing and I will never forget this season. All right, safe drives home everybody. Take your time. <laughs>